Hello friends, foes, other watchers on the internet. My name is Matt, you're watching Hogwash Gaming, and today we're going to be talking about a company called Genesee Box. Now, Genesee Box is a company from Israel that contacted me and said, hey, we have a product that we think your viewers would be interested in, and we'll give you a code that will save them some money if they buy our product. And I was like, well, what's your product? And they said, it is a box full of things that teach about Israel and Jerusalem. And I thought, wow, that's that's cool. My family's really into travel and learning about other people's cultures. So I said, bring it on. We'll see it and we'll, we'll talk about it. So they sent me a box straight from Israel and we're gonna review it now. Now, here's how this video is gonna work. I'm going to tell you about the box and what's in it. And I'll give you the code that you can use to save 5% on your purchase, which will also go to support my channel. And then I'll give you my impressions on the product. And uh, just so you know, they have not paid me to say anything nice about this product. They just said, will you cover it? And so I said, I will. And if you guys buy it, then I'll get some money. But they're not paying me for my content. They're only paying me if you use my code. So. I'm not being told, say this, say this, say this. Nope, this is all gonna be honest right from the get-go. All right, so what is a Genesee box? Well, a Genesee box is a box full of loot. It's a loot box kind of thing, packed with little gifts and envelopes, and that's not all. It's also a video that you watch online that features history, culture, and ideologies of the people who live in Jerusalem. As you watch the video, you'll see little symbols that say pause the video and open this package or go on your treasure map kind of thing. They've got this map here that has all sorts of puzzles and activities that you and your family can do. And uh, you stop the video, you do those things, you unwrap the packages and you learn about Jerusalem. It's pretty cool. I enjoyed it a lot. All right, so what are these gifts that you can get, these packages that you can unwrap? Well, let's start with the snacks. There are a lot of snacks that they sent. I haven't tried any of these, and um, they are completely covered in Hebrew. I cannot read one word of this. I can try. I know which direction they read, which is the opposite of English, so, so like exclamation points and stuff will be on this side instead of this side. Uh, but I, I honestly cannot read this, but it looks amazing. And I'm gonna try some right now. Let's see, uh, this looks like a, a berry thing, maybe a pomegranate kind of treat. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, got some already. Oh, oh, this, this smells like, uh, like our, our, like, kicks or something. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. The dangerous thing about this is I don't know if I can buy this in America. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna find more of it. Cause that's good. I enjoy that. I can, I, I'd buy an American bag of that, you know, this big, you know, totally overeat that. But yes, yeah, so this will not last long after the video. All right, and yeah, that's just one of the snacks that they they sent me. Um, they also sent me coffee. I don't drink coffee, but I gave it to some friends who do, and they they watched the video with me and they helped helped uh, evaluate this stuff. And um, yeah, yeah, lots of good stuff. Man, my mouth is watering now. Whoa, it's good stuff. All right, next up, um, I'm not going to show you everything in this box because you know what's the point in and getting a box that you can unwrap packages if you already know everything that's in it. So I'm not showing you everything, but I'll show you some of the highlights. All right, so snacks, definitely a highlight, <laughs> love that. Next up, I've got this ceramic bowl. Now, this ceramic bowl, I don't know if you can see how beautiful it is, but it, it's gorgeous, it's very fun. And uh, yeah, when we unwrapped it, we were like, oh wow, this is, a, this is a gift that we can actually use and stuff. And there, there are a lot of packages in here that are very, you can use it. You can use all sorts of stuff in here. And uh, we really like this bowl. And one thing I really liked about this bowl is I kind of cheated. I watched some of the videos of other people unwrapping stuff 
and uh, they had a bowl, but it didn't look like this one. So that means that they're not manuf like mass producing all of these gifts. Uh, there are some that are just legitimately something that an artist made, and uh, so that gives it like a, a personal connection to the people that sent me this box. I, I feel like we're friends. And if I got this from a friend, if they went over to Jerusalem, I would be like, wow, thanks, this is a cool gift. And the box is loaded with stuff like this. Not, not, not a ton of stuff, but a, a good amount for what the size of this box. So anyway, very cool. Uh, moving on, uh, we've got, because this is a gaming channel, I had to have a game in here. Uh, it's, it's a game that was based off of playing with stones in ancient Jerusalem. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but these are these are brass cubes that it's a game kind of like Jax and I'm not going to tell you how to play because, you know, I I've got to sell some boxes. <laughs> no, uh, I'm sure you can find it online, but um, they do tell you in the video how to play with these these uh, these stones, these cubes. And uh, I think it's a pretty cool game and it's pretty cool that they sent me this and taught me how to play. And me being a gaming channel, I really love learning how to play games. So uh, this is very cool. All right, so those are the highlights from this box. I, I think there are, there are a whole bunch of other stuff that is just as nice, if not nicer, than some of the things I showed you. Um, they don't make my mouth water as much as those snacks, and I'm gonna be uh, uh, having more very soon. Uh, but that's about it. You, you do the activities, you open the packages, you learn about things through the video. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. And if you do too, then I've got a code for you. As I said before, if you use the coupon code HOG, then you'll get 5% off of your order of one of these boxes. Now, they have different sizes. They have this box, which is the big box, which has all the gifts and stuff like that. And then they have the Jerusalem Quest box, which is a lot smaller, a lot cheaper. I don't know what it has in it. I don't, I don't think it has as much in it. And I think the video is different because it doesn't have as many packages. But it's a little more affordable for people who just want to learn about Jerusalem and they don't need all the, the, the gizmos and gadgets, even though I really appreciate everything in this box. But yes, if you use the code HOG, you get 5% off and you help out the channel because they will give me a percentage of their earnings as a thank you for advertising for them. Oh, and before I go on, they have another one coming out about Tel Aviv, which I'm actually kind of interested in. I, I don't know if they'll send me a copy of it. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how that's different from their Jerusalem box because I know quite a bit about Jerusalem just being raised in the church and stuff, but uh, I know next to nothing about Tel Aviv, so that looks like an interesting box to get involved in. So, uh, you know, Genesee Box, if you like this video, <laughs> be sure to uh, let me know when you're making a Tel Aviv one and uh, send it my way and I'll review that one too. All right, let's get down to the honesty. I was being honest before, but this is, this is the brutal honesty, like, how I feel about this product. If I had to rate this product from 1 to 10, 1 being awful and 10 being downright amazing, I would put this product as a 7. Now, it's an amazing idea. I love the idea of sharing your culture in a shoebox sized container, packing it full of culture, having a video to watch, and they did a really good job. You feel like the people from Israel are making sure you feel welcome and just sharing their culture with you and it's really fun and with the high value gifts you feel like they are a friend and I think that is amazing I think that's great PR service for your country for your company I really like it and uh, they did a good job in that regard y you don't feel like they're being smarmy businessmen you feel like they are just pouring out their heart and pride in their culture and sharing it with you and that's that's pretty cool that being said, it's hard to tell who their target demographic is. It seems like they want to share it with the world from all their advertising and, and just spreading the word. But when it comes to the, the way they talk about like the viewer and themselves, it seems like 
they're talking more to Jews than to us Gentiles, which is fine. Which is fine. I think that's a cultural thing. Wanting to be inclusive, hey, we are a family, that kind of thing. But it requires a little bit of understanding of of Jewish culture to begin with. I don't think they did as great of a job as taking someone who knows nothing about Israel and showing them from the bottom up, hey, this is what we are, this is who we are, this is where we are, this is what we do, these are who these people are, how we started, how, how we have played a part in world history, I think that would be a good, a good way to introduce so then people aren't just BAM! We're in Jewish culture right now and um, if you don't know what this is about, well sorry we're moving on and it was very fast paced and if you weren't familiar with some of the things, uh, then you, uh, you were kind of lost for a little bit. We had to pause it sometimes and look things up and, and see, oh this is where they're coming from. And honestly, that's educational, but it does show a little bit of oversight on their part. Another thing I would say is they did not skimp on the special effects. They have a 3D generated view of the temple, which is fantastic. They fly you through, show you what it looked like back in the day, and it's really impressive. Uh, but, um, you know, the cinematography could use some work. Um, there was one time when they were talking about the snacks. Fantastic snacks. I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest of the bags that they're half as good as what I just had. Yeah, that's gonna be great. But as they were talking about how proud they were of Israeli snacks and and foods and just amazing stuff that you can learn about their culture in in Jerusalem, he was standing in front of a Frito-Lay display that had all American-made products. And that was like, okay, so yeah, you have great stuff, but I can buy what you're standing next to in my giant eagle down the street, which is a grocery store for you who are not from the Midwest. That's that's a, a chain of grocery stores. We can we can get what you are standing next to in our own hometown. So now as far as some of the things that were said in the video, there was a lot of stuff that was super accurate, super cool, super educational. Uh, there were some things that were said in the video that were a bit hyperbolic, at, at, at least. No other place in the world can I use the Bible as a, a geographical book, as a tour guide book, as a history book. No other place in the world I can match what I read to what I see. I Not true. I, and he might be talking about the Old Testament, but even then, eh, like, I have read in my Bible that there's a place called the Sea of Galilee and I have seen pictures and videos of people in the Sea of Galilee. It's right there. You know, people can read the Bible and see the Sea of Galilee. In the Old Testament, if we were going to go there, uh, people can read about Egypt. They can read about the Nile. They can read about the Jordan River. Those are in the Old Testament. You can read it and look, and there it is. There is the thing that was in the Bible. So saying that Jerusalem is the only place where you can read the Bible and see what it's talking about, not necessarily true. I think they did a pretty good job of representing the other two main religions in their in their uh, country. I think that um, they covered Christianity okay and they covered Islam okay. I, I learned some things about Islam that I did not know through this video. I think that's cool. They didn't focus on it though, and there are huge quarters of the city that are, are split off for those people groups, and I would like to see something more about them. And I understand this was made by Jewish people, so I'm not holding that against them, but I would like to see what's different about those quarters. I think that would be a very eye-opening experience for someone of my faith, Christianity, or someone of the Islamic faith. I would love to see how they live in the city and see how that works. You know, it's just something that I would be interested in seeing. Now, here's, here's a point where I was a little concerned, and uh, it was Jewish mysticism. Now, Jewish mysticism is part of their culture, and I'm glad that they included it, and I'm glad that they sent gifts 
that showed parts of this. They had they gave a uh, a red string, which is supposed to ward off curses and stuff like that. And they were also talking about charms in the video. And it had like a symbol that's an Islamic symbol, but it's also a Jewish symbol that wards off evil spirits and the evil eye, which is a traditional curse that everyone is very uh, familiar with in that culture. So I was interested, oh, they have one of those symbols in here. Fine, well, let's let's pull that out. And this is what we got. Now, this symbol did not show up in the video at all, as far as I know. I, 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 I might have been busy opening the package very excitedly, saying, hey, we're getting an Islamic Jewish symbol that wards off the evil eye. And instead, I got something that looked like the evil eye, which was a little concerning because I knew nothing about the evil eye and this looked like a spreading of the evil eye to me and my household, which is not something that I want to happen. Um, so we stopped the video and we looked it up. Why did we get a symbol of the evil eye if, um, if that's a bad thing? Turns out that having a symbol of the evil eye wards off the evil eye. Uh, I'm not superstitious, so I wasn't like worried that my house would burn down overnight or something like that, or I would I would lose my job or my teeth or my eyes or something like that. But with someone who doesn't have the wherewithal to look something up that if they don't understand it, if they're being told something through a video and they receive something that seems to be a negative thing in this video, then the thing to jump, the, the conclusion to jump to is this is a bad thing to have and we just gave it to you. Um, which, uh, which is not good. Uh, we looked it up and it was fine. But um, if I was more superstitious, if I wasn't as computer literate, if my wife didn't think, let's look this up, we might see this as a huge negative for the box. I don't think it is a huge negative. I just think that there was a misunderstanding for that item. And if it was something that someone who wasn't superstitious and not really worried about curses in that regard was still kind of confused, people who are more superstitious or more worried about stuff like that might, might find that very disturbing and I think they should have done a better job in the video explaining that. Like I said, seven out of 10, I really liked it. I really enjoy everything that's in this box in some regard or another. I think that it was very thoughtful. I think it wasn't something that was just pouring tourist trash into a box and saying, here you go, this cost us 25 cents and we're charging you a lot more for that. And, uh, yeah, if you have any interest in buying this box after me being very honest about this box, check the description below. You'll find a link and a copy of the coupon, HOG, not very hard, to save your 5% off of your purchase. And until next time, this is Hogwash, over and out. Catch you later.